Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we will be talking about the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. In problem number 63, I'd like to find the derivative with respect to x of the integral from 2 to x cubed of dp divided by p squared. All right. Again, this is a situation where I can use the fundamental theorem to help me to take a derivative of an integral. Okay, So I'm trying to take the derivative of an integral. So the first thing that I need to ask is, OK, am I running from a constant to the variable that I'm taking the derivative with respect to? And the answer in this case is, no. This is not an x. This is an x cubed. So that's a problem. Okay, so here what I have to do is I have to remember that I'm actually, uh, I'm taking a derivative with respect to x, but that a derivative with respect to x, I can also use some sort of a chain rule to take such a derivative. And what I need to remember is that uh, basically d dx, or if you prefer, if I say dy dx, where this whole thing represents my y, is the same thing as uh, taking the derivative d uh, y with respect to u, and then multiplying that by du over dx, where u is some other function of x. Now, uh, this is what we call the chain rule, right? Uh, it's in a little bit different form than maybe you wrote it in your class. Maybe uh, uh, your professor or your book wrote it this way. Either way, what we're talking about here is the chain rule. So what I'm going to do is the key is using u to my best advantage. Up here, I have an x cubed. And so what I can do is I can say, okay, since here I have an x cubed and I really would like it to just be one variable, then I'm going to say that x cubed is equal to u. Okay? I'm going to let x cubed be u, and then I'm going to rewrite this thing. So what I want is I want to take the derivative of this guy with respect to x. But I said that the derivative of that guy with respect to x is the same thing as the derivative of that guy with respect to u. Okay? In other words, it's the same as the derivative with respect to u of integral of 2 to x cubed, but we know that's u, of dp over p squared. Uh, but then I need to multiply by the derivative of u with respect to x. So the derivative of u with respect to x. But now this is in the perfect form to use the fundamental theorem. So we will. And then I just have to figure out what this is. Okay, so the fundamental theorem here now says I'm taking the derivative with respect to u of a constant to u. So just take a u here, plug it in for p, and what I would get is just 1 over u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. Well, now I just need to ask the question, well, what is u? u is x cubed. So I can just plug in an x cubed for u, and I get 1 over u, which is x cubed, squared, times the derivative of u with respect to x. What is the derivative of u? u is x cubed, so the derivative of u with respect to x is 3x squared. So I just want to multiply this thing by 3x squared. In other words, I have 3x squared divided by x to the sixth, and if you want to simplify that down a little more, that would just be 3 over x to the fourth. And that's my answer. 
That's the answer, and that's what I was trying to get. I went through a big, long process to get there, right? I said, there's a U, there's a D, a D, Y, D, U, times D, U, D, X. I plugged some things in. I got my answer. Here's the reality. Uh, I can do this much easier. What I can do is I can see it's going from a constant to X cubed. And I say, wait a second, X cubed is not the same thing as X. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to, I can still just take that X cubed and plug it in as if it were an X, as long as I remember to multiply by the derivative of X cubed. Let me show you what I mean. So we know now that the answer is 3 over X to the fourth, but let me erase everything. I'm going to leave this answer just to remind us what the answer is. And so now I'm going to use the fundamental theorem in a slightly quicker way. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, x cubed is what I want to plug in here, right? So I plug in x cubed for p, and I get 1 over x cubed squared. And then I say, and now just multiply by the derivative of x cubed, which is... 3x squared, and what do I get? Well, 3 over x to the fourth. So you can go through the long process of letting x cubed be u, finding du dx, and doing all of that. Or you can kind of just do it simply by saying, take this guy, plug it in. But remember, you have to multiply by the derivative of that thing because we're using the chain rule. And if you remember all those things, you don't have to make a U substitution. You don't have to do all of that other stuff. You just plug in the, U, uh, the X cubed and multiply by the derivative of X cubed, and you've got it.